Hello everyone, I'm Natalie and I'm the Marine Ranger for the Isles of Scilly Wildlife Trust and I'd like to welcome you to our very first virtual walk here on St Mary's. Now the main reason for starting this is that obviously the pandemic is a very difficult time for everyone and a lot of you might be feeling particularly distant from nature at the moment. A lot of you may also be living inland and particularly missing the sea and in particular maybe missing Scilly. So we wanted to try and give you a little bit of a silly fix right there in your homes. So I'm out at the moment on the north of the island just to take you a little way around our coastal path up here and just to give you some of those views that you might be missing very much so at the moment. So it's not especially sunny here today but it is very still and clear so it seemed like a really good time to get out uh, on the coastal path and try and show you guys some of what you might have been missing. So some gorgeous views across to the other islands today. So on the far left there, you can see Tresco. And if I pan across, Just in the middle there with the lighthouse on is Round Island and to the left is St Helens and to its right is Tian. And then just coming across here you can see beautiful St Martins. And right on the end there, the iconic day mark. Just going to take a wander down now towards the burial chamber. just out towards the right there of St Martin's, those are the Eastern Isles, which is where a lot of our Atlantic grey seals reside most of the time. So the main areas that you tend to see the grey seals over here are at the Western Rocks off of St Agnes and at the Eastern Isles there off of St Martin's. So here we have the lower Inesidjun burial chamber. So behind me here we've got the lower Inesidjun burial chamber and just up the hill which I'll show you in a minute we've got the upper Inesidjun burial chamber. Now what these are are really well preserved examples of Bronze Age chambered tombs and they are actually sometimes referred to as Ceylonian graves because of the concentration of them on the islands although there have been a few of them found in mainland Cornwall. So the burial chambers are made up of a circular mound which then have a stone curb around the edge which are built over the top of a chamber and then capped with large slabs of rock. So those tombs that have been excavated in the past have basically been found to contain cremated bone. And there's actually one across on St Martin's over that way 
that was found to contain the remains of up to 60 individuals. Now, perhaps not the, quite the relaxing walk that you were hoping for, but very interesting history nonetheless. So I'm just going to walk you up the hill now towards the upper Inisidian burial chamber. There's a very noisy oyster catcher there. And at the top of the hill here, we have the upper inner Sidron burial chamber. So this is actually thought to be one of the best preserved entrance graves on the islands. But it's also got pretty stunning views. See off towards Watermill Cove that way. So that's all that I've got for you today, but I think that that was a pretty stunning view to finish on. Now, please do let us know what you thought in the comments, maybe where you'd like to see, what you liked, what you didn't like, and just let us know what you thought of it, basically. Uh, hopefully it's something that we'll be able to do a bit more of in the future, so do keep an eye on our social channels and we'll try and keep you up to date with when the next one might well be able to be. But for the time being, thank you very much for joining us today and do stay safe.